Hey guys, welcome again to another video here on our channel. Today, we're going to be showing you one of the Marriott Autograph Collection Hotel. This hotel is called the Row Hotel here at the Assembly Row area of Boston. So today we're going to show you the location, the lobby, all the amenity that it has to offer, and then also the room tour at the end. So I hope you stick around to watch the entire video. And if you enjoyed this video, smack the like button. And if you enjoy videos like this and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to our channel. Let's get started. Located in the assembly row in Somerville area of Boston outskirts, the hotel is surrounded by lots of shops, restaurants, and few minutes walk from Metro Station. This is an up and coming area and the hotel is positioned to attract those that want to be in Boston but not have the stress of the city. Right outside of the hotel, there are like four coffee shops and bakeries. In addition, a lot of great restaurants, so you will never be short of food options here in addition to the hotel restaurants. I have become fond of collection hotels, especially those by Marriott. We have stayed in a couple of collection hotels in both Italy, Switzerland, China, and now the US. Each stay at the collection hotel is unique and the Royal Hotel at the Assembly Row is no exception. They provide a different experience from the traditional hotel, which leaves you with craving of coming back to experience it again in the future. So let's hope that the Row will leave us that same feeling. Let's start by saying that we know that users like authentic reviews, but also that does not contain a lot of negative aspects. So we are aware of this and try our best to provide you with fair reviews that are not so concentrated in the negatives of a hotel. We're always pointing out what the hotel or airline is doing well and what areas of improvements. This allows you to make a determining factor for your next stay or flight. Having that said, when we film these reviews, we do so on our own and we pay the full price for our stays or flights. The hotel does not have knowledge that we will be recording or posting this video and they also don't pay us to do these reviews. Therefore, the only way that we make any money is by friends like you watching our content, interacting with it, and sharing it. This allows our videos to be seen by other friends and our channel to grow. So your like is appreciated. Also, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing. Walking into the hotel, you are brought into this beautiful lobby area. The focal point of the lobby is this gorgeous staircase that leads you up to the second floor. The hotel is decorated with dark interior colors, giving a calm feel. It has a bit of a mid-century modern design touch throughout. The lobby is not as grandier as other ones that we have been to, but it's for sure a great place to hang out and it serves as a multi-purpose area. Here guests can hang out, collaborate, and enjoy each other's company by the bar area in the back. More on that later in the video. On the right hand side, you have the check-in desk area. Speaking of the check-in area, the check-in process was smooth and painless. Depending on who you had working at the front desk, you either had someone chatty to assist or a quiet one. They were never rude in either case. The person who checked me in was friendly and polite. Although I would have loved for her to provide me with more details of the hotel, such as hours of breakfast, pool, gym, and more. But as stated, they can either be chatty or quiet. Passing the check-in area, you have the library area with the desk in place for those looking for a place to collaborate with co-workers that they are traveling with, or if you just need a place to sit and read or quietly do your work. There are also additional seating areas near the elevator. Overall, 
beautiful lobby and great place to hang out. Now let's look at the terrace, pool, and gym all located in the second floor of the hotel. We'll revisit the first floor for breakfast area. On the second floor, after coming up this beautiful staircase, you are met with this seating area to relax. Please keep in mind that this floor is also where meeting rooms are located. Therefore, it is a shared area with guests who are here for conferences. There is a terrace space for those who are looking for an outdoor space to sit and relax. The hotel has a couple of these spaces, one by the front area of the second floor and also another one by the pool area that we will see shortly. This is a great place for relaxing and also for a small evening get together with hors d'oeuvres and smooth song playing in the background. I can just imagine that. Towards the back, you have the pool and the gym combination space. You have to enter through the gym and then you can enter the pool. As for the gym, it is a large space allowing you to work out freely. There's a lot of equipment for your usage while breaking the sweat. There's also a private classroom with bikes. Now to the pool. The hotel offers a heated year-round pool for their guests' enjoyment and you can see it here. This amazing space contains plenty of seating. This is a great place, especially for those families traveling with little ones. There's also a terrace just outside the pool area for additional outdoor seating with beautiful sitting space. Let's now talk about the food options available here. There's a restaurant and a bar here. The Reflections restaurant offers the breakfast in the morning with buffet and a la carte options. As for the breakfast buffet, I felt that it was lacking given the hotel type and quality. I have seen pictures with more intensive options such as bread, cereal, and other hot items. 
but during my visit, it was not sold. However, the a la carte option was much better. Here's the menu of a la carte. Keep in mind that pricing here is steep regardless if you're having buffet items or not. Positive of the restaurant is for sure the staff. At the time of my visit, the person who was working there was really friendly and helpful. He smiled when taking orders and even remembered orders from previous day and asked if they would like the same thing or would like to change. Great customer service and very attentive in details. There is also the roll bar. This is where you can also order meals if you choose not to go outside of the hotel for food during dinner hours. Lots of people congregated here during evening. Now to the room tour. As we head to the room, you can see the hallways are beautifully decorated with a unique antique design, screaming elegance throughout. We're staying on the fifth floor, which is the highest floor of this hotel, in room 519. Let's get started with the tour. All right, so this is the room that I got. It's one king room bed and we'll show you how it looks like. So let's start off by here in the bathroom. On the bathroom side, as you can see, there's one sink right there. I'll turn on the lights from the bathroom as well. Much better, but anyways, nice, beautiful uh, decor here and amenities that are available. There's three towels there for hand towels. One sink, then you do have uh, soap and all the it's there, such a lotion. And then on the bottom here, we do have some more towels. And then the uh, tissues and dryer. On this side here, you do have the shower itself. Gorgeous shower. Love it. And then they have all the amenities that you also need right there. You have soap, shampoo, conditioner, all that. And then on this side here, we have a separate area for the toilet. Really nice, really chic, I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to this side here and then we'll come back to the closet. Uh, so here is the bed side. You do have nightstand here and another nightstand over there. And there's a phone right there. And then you also have some out power outlets there. There's a small lamps on the side the bed is huge. On this side here, you do have the dresser for you to store your stuff. And then you also have TV, really nice TV. We move on to this side here, you do have a desk working area, working space. And then on this side here, you do have a couch. Beautiful decor back there. And then here you do have a lamp and then another sit down area for you to be able to view. Um, kind of like a patio, but it's enclosed and you can see amazing views of the street um, And there this area you do, you do have shops and everything else. All right, so here in the closet We can see what they have so you get a robe and then you also have an iron board And there is an iron right there And then and you do have a refrigerator a mini fridge with water, which I think is complimentary you also do have a lock or safe. You do have a safe for you to be able to store your important stuff there. And then here you do have a really cool um, coffee machine with a lot of supplies as well here. And then uh, this really cool mug here. I really like it. Um, but anyways, that's for the coffee uh, machine. And then on top of here you have the ice uh, bucket. And then you have two cups over here. And then there's some space over there for you to also store whatever else you need. You gotta put your suitcase here if you do have one. It's also really nice. So this is what we have as far as the room. A couple of things to keep in mind that I didn't mention during the tour. Although this room is a king size bedroom, it also contains the seating area with a pull-out couch that can be transformed into a sleeping area if you're traveling with your friends or with the small kids. The room is also spacious and beautifully decorated. This was the same room booked and was not offered upgrade due to the events that were happening in Boston for that weekend, which is the Boston Marathon. The room had amazing views of the assembly room. As for the outlet, there were plenty of outlets for you to charge your devices. 
The one thing that I wish they had would have been a USB-C port as we are moving more and more towards that. As for the bathroom, I have seen pictures of some of them having this cool bathtub that my room did not have. So not sure if it's only available in upgradable rooms. If you know this information, leave it in the comments. For light sleepers, one thing that I have to say is that you can hear some noise from your next door neighbor, but not as much as other hotels, so be mindful of that. The hotel also provides their guests with free internet with high speeds. This allows you to browse the internet and support those Zooms or team calls for those who are staying here for work purpose. Finally, if you want to head over to Boston area to visit, you can catch the train. It is really easy to do so and it's just 3 minute walk from the hotel. The station is the assembly station on the orange line. You can be in the city within 15 minutes and is the cheapest way to move about. Overall, the Royal Hotel at the Assembly Row is a great hotel. Keep in mind that since it is an autograph collection hotel, the price may be a bit steep in comparison to other Marriott hotel brands. I highly recommend this hotel based on these factors. The location. The hotel is located in an area that is easy to get to and can be in Boston within a short train ride. Also, there's a lot to do here in Assembly Row area with restaurants, shops, activities, and more. Two, the hotel appearance. It is just gorgeous hotel from its lobby, restaurant, pool, terrace, and rooms. Three, the staff. They were friendly and courteous. I know that working in the service industry is not easy. But being polite and friendly can go along the way and the staff here did just that, especially the individual working at the restaurant. Before I go, let us know in the comment if you enjoyed this review. If you did, why did you enjoy it? Also, let us know if we should bring you more reviews like this. We really appreciate your feedback and we try our best to incorporate feedback from you. I hope you enjoyed touring this hotel with us and if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and smack the like button and share with many other friends. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.